uh, here's my colors. So this is a white pillow. It's just a satin house paint. And I did add a little bit of GAC 800, a pretty, maybe an eighth GAC 800 to keep it from cracking. Um, this is Decorate 24 karat gold. And it's got a little bit of nickel azo gold and a little bit of deco art vintage brass. I just kind of wanted to get a little bit richer color. And then this is interesting. It's it's a green gold by Golden Fluids mixed with some iridescent pearl and some copper <laughs> and a little bit of raw sienna. So it's kind of a nice... Um, earthy color. And then this is Charvin Indigo, one of my faves. It's really pretty. It's actually not pure Charvin Indigo. Um, you know what I did? It was kind of interesting. So I was out of Charvin Indigo, which, so I, I used this. Um, what color is that? Thalo green blue and some of their French blue and like a couple drops of golden fluids carbon black and it made I think it made exactly oh just like exactly almost the same color as their indigo so there's that and then this is some of this paint and but I added a little bit of white and a little bit of golden fluid cobalt turquoise and then this is pink. It's just a liquid, I think it's just a Liquitex, like rose pink with some uh, titanium white from Golden Fluid. And I'm finding Golden Fluid works really well for this technique. Um, and then this is Golden Fluid Iridescent Pearl. And this is kind of my key to the effect I've been trying to get with this technique. Um, I think it gives a really soft, beautiful look. And then this is the Cell Activator Concoction. Amsterdam, uh, Black Oxide, one to three with Floetrol, and then I did put a couple drops of this Minowax wood conditioner, which I keep in here so I don't have to open it the uh, container because it kind of stinks. So I'll get some Aussie flow trail at some point, probably. All right, uh, we're gonna go down onto the canvas and get to work. So this is a commission for a friend of mine that I've known for so long. Um, and she's actually gonna give it to her mom for her birthday this summer. Um, it's an interesting size canvas. It's a 12 inch by 36 inch. And I've been really loving, you know, the, the painting I just did called Mariposa. Um, I really just love this color palette. And she, she'd sent me some pictures, she's an artist as well, but she sent me a few pictures of some paintings she had done that inspired me and, my, and this color palette. So I'll probably show you those images of her artwork at the end as well and kind of how they, they tie together in some sort of crazy way with just sort of the feeling um, that I got from her art. So, uh, Tammy, I hope you love this and I hope your mom loves it. Um, what I'm doing is just putting down the 24 karat gold and I'm, I'm using a very similar idea to what I did for um, that little painting Mariposa. And uh, that's the green gold and the raw sienna and copper. And I just kind of put plastic sheeting down in a big, a big old sheet down on the floor of my studio, and then that's pink. And then I put, um, I got this, you know, I used just a piece of cardboard, and then I put some old paint on the spinner, which is covered with, um, uh, with tin foil. And then the paint kind of, kind of sticks to the cardboard, so it kind of. It, you know, it's on there good enough so it won't fly off when it's spinning. So I, th I think I saw Jody doing that, just using old paint to sort of adhere that to the spinner. Um, and then that's the Charvin mixture. 
really kind of soft, like earthy, but uh, feminine colors. I feel like I'm moving towards maybe doing a big butterfly painting. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, all right, I'm going to let you guys watch and I spin this out and I play with it and I'll show you all the dried results and staged images at the very end along with um, the two paintings that, that Tammy had done that inspired this piece. All right, take great care, you guys. Have a really beautiful day. Thank you.
you